that's meant to be in your world. Do not allow your world to fall down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to bring that prayer to close with thanksgiving. That Father, we thank you because we know you are part of us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Yeah. And therefore, Lord, we commit this word into your hand. Take it and magnify it for your glory. Amen. Amen. Renew and rebuild our life. Amen. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Destroy the plan of the enemy. Amen. Concerning this message. Amen. At the end of this message, we don't want anyone to be condemned. Amen. You, we want you to justify us. Amen. And increase us in every line. Amen. Present upon peace and line upon life. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I started a series of teaching. That is called the Beatitude last week. Amen. And I'm going to continue today. It's going to be the part two. Amen. The text is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. A very popular message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For the people that are not here last week, I will do. Introduction remark little and then I will go into the teaching. We are told that beatitude means supreme blessedness. It means the blessing listed by Jesus Christ on the summer of the month. The beatitude is the blessedness benediction and grace to be blissful and flourishing again on earth and also to book our flight into the heavenly. The power to be great and flourishing is embedded in the word of God. That is why they call the word of God. Hallelujah. If you will allow Christ to open your understanding and understanding the scripture as he wants you to do, just as it was written down, therein, then you will be happy that you did. Amen. The truth still remains the same for everyone that hears the word of God. So we hear the word of God and change for better. While some other we hear the word of God and refute it. Both two still present at the presence of God. The Bible says, when the children of God gather, Satan also came in their midst. You will not become Satan in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not be Achan in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The difference is your attitude towards the word of God. When you understand the word, your life takes another shape and you shall be celebrated. Amen. You will not refute the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Whenever position you take, the word of God will do its work in your life because it's a two-edged sword that caught on both ways. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 So shall my word be well out of my mouth, they shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I place it. And it shall prosper in the thing which shall to, uh, we are unto ascend it. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. The grass with that, the flower fields, but the word of God shall stand forever. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient time. The thing that I'm not yet done, saying my cancer is stand, and I will do all my pleasure. It is the word of God that will uplift everyone. That is why the moment we remember that we are but a man, like a flower that flourish, and thereafter cut and wither, and declare by the grace of God. That the Almighty God in His Word will have mercy on every one of us and we shall understand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If there is anything you want to do, it is clearly stated last week that make sure that it's far away from rebellion to the Word of God. Because those people that rebel against the Word of God before, where are they now? They are regretting it. Do not become ungrateful unto God Almighty 
from whom all the blessings flow, including the blessing that God has given to you, that is now your possession, that is in your hand. That is why our Lord Jesus, Savior, Christ, do not add anything from us that are his followers in the scripture. And also for those people that rebel against him. Jesus Christ teaches us that if God clothes the grass of the field, will not so much do more for us if we put our faith in him to cover our nakedness in the time of want. I believe a wise man is supposed to know that. The psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want just because he trusted in the word of God. That will make a difference. No wonder it was preferred above his siblings. All the siblings waited for the young lad that was in the bush. It doesn't matter where you located. When the favor of God <laughs> is upon you, everybody will honor you. I declare that favor upon your life. Amen. Even the priest said, we shall not seek that Amen. until he come. We don't know how long the guy stay before he come in the farm. They put him in the bush. In fact, the father, when they ask, I want to anoint a king, he went to go and take the firstborn. The Bible says the persona of the firstborn actually moved the prophet to carry his oil to go and anoint. Until God said, no, do not anoint him. Man do not look as man look. For the man look outside the world, outside uh, uh, appearance, but Christ, God look inside the heart. And the one that God find faithful, the man after his heart, was in the bush, mm -hmm. was the last one. I declare the favor of God locate you. Amen. Amen. What is unique in his life is the word of God. Psalm 119, 1 to 2. Blessed is the undefiled on the way. This way of heaven is a way that you must not defy yourself. Somebody say, God will give me the grace not to defy myself. God will give me the grace not to defy myself. Who, who walk in the law of the Lord? Blessed are they that keep his testimony and that seek him with the whole heart. And I said, don't seek God with the cut of your heart, but with your whole heart. That is what they call perfection. And I pray the Almighty God will take you there in Jesus' name. Yeah, the, Lord said, the Lord will take me there. The Lord, the Lord will take, take me, me there. Also, we say, who is qualified to be promoted and be blessed of the Lord? Psalm 24, make us to know that. Psalm 24, verse 4. He that hath a clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor swan deceitfully. So as a person, the Almighty God will bless them because they qualified. Who is qualified to enjoy the peace and prosperity here on earth. Psalm 37 verse 11 make us to understand that. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace because they are people of peace. The people of God are supposed to be people of peace everywhere Amen. and that is why they will enjoy prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. Prosperity does not mean dollar. It doesn't Amen. mean only money. Prosperity is when you have peace around you. Hallelujah. Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Peace and tranquility. Amen. Those people that have those money, they are looking for peace. They Amen. couldn't find peace because Jesus Christ is the place of peace. When Jesus is not in your life and you are not obeying his word, you are out of peace. And declare peace of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do not run away under the canopy of the word of God because thereon is your blessing and breakthrough is. That is where they lie. And that is why the psalmist is say, it made me to lie down in great part of What does the great part of me? It means the word of God. We are you going to be fair. This word of God is a food for the hunger. We're going to get there. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's say I do that first and hunger for righteousness. If you are sleeping, stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. But this is not a time to be to be. To be, to be dozing. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a time to listen to the word of life and like declare fire into your bosom. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So you, you come to the house of God to come and eat Hallelujah. for another seven days. Amen. What is going to carry you? Jesus Christ said, if you drink my own water and we cast no more, I declare you drink that water. Amen. Amen. 
And that is why he said, the Lord is my shepherd, and as I walk, I shall not be want. Do not run away under the canopy of the word of God, because there upon your blessing, your breakthrough is. The earlier you understand that, the better for you. Pray to somebody by your side, my dear brother. Does he hear you? Do not run away under the canopy of the word of God. They are wrong. Your blessing, your blessing and your breakthrough, and your breakthrough. is yes. hallelujah. Amen. And the moment you understand that, the better for you now. One Peter chapter 5, 6 to 7. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time. There is a due time for every one of us to be exalted, and nothing can stop it Amen. when it is God who wants to exalt you. Nothing, hallelujah. even the proud. Ah, uh, you know, uh, men, I want to disturb. God will make them a ladder to your Amen. own breakthrough. Amen. Amen. This is the matter of of man. This is how God do to man Hallelujah. that God want to exalt. You remember the time that they were making, uh, you know, uh, you know, coup for uh, Daniel, the man called Daniel. Hallelujah. Amen. It was the same time God was using their coup to exalt uh, Daniel. What about Sandra Mitchell and Abed Mingo? Mingo. That they yeah. plot again. It was that plot that made them to be promoted. Okay. That made them to be seen. We are reading their life today and their story because they plotted against them. I declare riches of the word of God into your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says, casting all your care yes. upon him for he cares for you. Somebody say, God cares for me. God cares for say me. it louder. My God, God cares for me. And that is why you are more than conqueror. Yes. When your own care, care, your own notes, your own care, the care is God himself. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me go to the teaching. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the beatitude, we read three verse. Yes, uh, last week. One to three. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain and was. And when he was set, when he's ready, his disciple came unto him and opened his mouth. And Jesus Christ opened his mouth right now. Hallelujah. He's using me, my mouth now, to write into your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. What you want from you. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. Say after me, Blessed, Blessed are the poor, are the the poor, poor in, spirit. in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. For there is the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, You are poor in the spirit. There we, that is your poverty in the spirit, is like the kingdom of God. Mm. Not your richness of your spirit. Not your smartness of your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not your smartness of your mind, which is your brain. Hallelujah. Amen. But the poor, for the poorer of your spirit mind to obey the word of God, that daily is the kingdom of God lies. Blessed are the poor in spirit. This verse open the verse of nine statement. Who is blessed? In the teaching that you are going, there are nine blessings that Jesus Christ pronounced. And I declare all the nine shall be my own portion. They follow each other in the same pattern. But only one is worded differently. And for the one that is worded differently, that apply only to those that will obey the word of God. Those that are ready to live godly. Yeah, no, no. And I will first deal with that couple of verses that is worded differently. Hallelujah. Amen. Down the eight that preceded the nine, one, and the last of the beatitude. As I've already stated, it talks about those that are ready to obey the commandment of God. What did I say? Those that are ready to obey the commandment of God. 
The people that are ready to obey the word of God is the night that is talking about. And therefore, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. According to the word of God, those people that are ready to obey the commandment of God, people in this world will persecute them. What did that say? People will persecute them. And therefore, persecute them because they love Christ. And they love the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 5, verse 11 to 12. It's not two verses. Blessed are ye. Whenever you hear ye in King James Version, it's talking about all. Everyone, including me and you, that are follower of Christ. Jesus Christ was talking to all. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the Bible says, Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you. Firstly, For my sake, for the sake of God. The Bible says, Rejoice. Can you read verse 12 together? Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they, the prophet, which were before you. Hallelujah. Because that is the way of men. People of the world are so. Terrible that when they see good, they call it bad. Bad is good for them. Hallelujah. Amen. The people love the people, the people of the world love the people that rebel against the authority of God that created them. And that is why you see all kind of evil that is no, seen in this world right now. If you look at all the modern uh, country, those that call they call the like Nigeria, they call them third world country. Mm -hmm. But those world that those countries that are first world country, <laughs> there are a lot of atrocity and evil <laughs> that live there. Hallelujah. Amen. For somebody that say, I want to change my identity, it's from man to woman, and it's been celebrated. Mm -hmm. His, his, his image is being sold with millions of dollars. Hello? Right. Hello? Um, All right. uh, we have, we have, have had, I've seen uh, people that genuinely marry in the, king, uh, in, in the church of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, because of the corruptness and the pollution that is in the world, they say their husband is no more good for them. Mm. They need a divorce mm. and stay separate. separate. They divorce their husband and sometimes they don't even divorce. They put that man or that woman in trouble. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. They go and marry same sex. Mm. They were in the church before. Mm. They were joined in the altar in holy matrimony. But corruption came. Mm. And something tells them that they don't like man anymore. They like woman. A woman like woman. And men say, I don't like woman anymore. They like man. That is the corruption and the pollution that is there. And people celebrate that. Hello? Hi. Hi. Those are the people, perhaps, that you will find in high position in the world. And what I want to do is to suggest to you that you should agree with what they are saying mm. rather than what the word of God is saying. What? And if you say, no, this is word of God, they believe that you are the bad ones. And then they treat you like somebody that hates them. Mm. Mm. If you are not accepting them, then you don't have love. <laughs> is that what the Bible teaches us? No. 
But this is the world that we are in. And when you tell them that it is Adam and Eve, it is not Adam and Steve. They say you don't know the Bible. There are a heart that they do some movie. They say Jesus Christ was a gay. Mm. And, and it's been selling in their millions to people. So they turn the Bible upside down because they hate the God of Christ. They hate the God of the gospel. And people are celebrating them. That is the world that we are living in. And now, the third country now, hallelujah, Amen. because of they want money. We're going to get there. It's going to be a very good teaching. Hallelujah. Amen. Money has blindfolded their mind mm. to corrupt them because they are third world country. What made them to be third world country because of corruption? Mm. Mm. Hello? Uh, the, the wealthier country that I've ever known is Nigeria. Yes. The wealthiest country is Nigeria. That's right. Because in everything mm. that is there yeah, is money. That's right, yes. Common leaves, leaves in my father's farm, can turn you to a millionaire if you know what. And that is all these white people do. Mm. They come and make pharmacies. That's right. They come and make all these things. They were taking our resources to come and do it here, and then they send it for us in uh, not big money. You know all those, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, those, uh, uh, you know those medicines that you take. It is your, maybe it is your father farm. Mm. They, they plug the thing that they are using for you. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, yes. But because you don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I once had, here yeah, in this church, as I talked to you, somebody came here from Nigeria. And he was telling me that he drove a, 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 a Chinese man, hallelujah, mm. going to North, and the guy, is, he said, wow. This country is a wealthy country. You might say, why is that? Because I saw five apps, five leaps, mm. that if you know one, you can never be poor again. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And when you now saw the man, he said, one of it, can you fetch me this? And now I can say, he say, ah, then I need to supply me. And that, that man said, he can never live in America. Only one leaps. Mm. He said, it's my, in my father found, yes, there is a lot of it. And that is what that one is using to eat. Of love in Jamaica. Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. There are a lot of things that you don't know. No. When people, so I have a friend. He said, when he grow up. Hallelujah. Amen. And many of us, we don't eat uh, this food. What do they call it? Serilac. Epami. <laughs> or... Oh. What, what they call those uh, similar? Similar! Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, all like some of us that were born in the, in the rural area. It is, it is a go. It is a go. Hallelujah! Amen! A go. So that my friend said. When they wake up in the morning, they are breakfast. My own is not worse than that. That's why I keep my mouth shut. So you don't do it. When you are saying you are suffering, mm. and somebody has fed their home, you will go quiet. That's right. I say, Allah, I'm to you. That is why I pray. And I have my the prayer of the king. When she said that, the suffering of our mother, mm. she will not survive it. Mm. And our own suffering, mm. our children will not we survive it. Amen. I pray that prayer for myself. Amen. I pray for myself. And I pray for my children right. that your rules and trouble that I went through, mm. they will never they go through it. I remember going to primary school with bare food, mm. no shoes. Mm. No shoes! Mm. And I remember that I was in the team playing soccer. I've never put a, a boot, you know, a boot to play soccer in my life Robert. until I came to America. Wow. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Boot. Where do you see? <laughs> Unless you want to use slippers. <laughs> Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever had a Yvonne Muti? A Yvonne Muti? 
kan o mi gbona lajo mu also yeah also mission and you know the man said their breakfast is a go in the lunch when they come back from school the he said their go never finish the more you go down the more they about food the what he said I'm hungry, sir. Long ago, ah, yes. they will use. He will use that. Is that somebody that you know? Some of my friends. I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Go long ago. He said we go there and fetch and go and drink. They only eat dinner. Mm. Mm. Wow. And that's my Hallelujah. Amen. He's strong. He did it that. Mm. Do you know that? When the, those people, when they are rearing their children, when they feel that their child has a temperature, mm. they will make a go. Mm. One year wrong. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, man, how are you going to be? 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 Hallelujah. Oriawa, Oriawa, Toby, you are you know? I want to yo, I want to drug yo, but I go. And when they are making that, when they are making that, I go, they say, Mani, you think, I mean, you think, yo. Mani, what to ask for us? What to ask for us? But, the I am a cop. By force, you must drink that. And you know what? The ago is not, is not sweet. Mm. Uh, it's bitter. It's bitter. <laughs> oh my God. And those are the hurdles that we went through. Mm. Some of you that are now American and now, that you don't want your, when someone will say an American, like, they are an American children. Uh, they are American. Hallelujah. Uh, but you, you are rural area born. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can take that one from you. Uh, so now, do you know that sometimes such things is not always good? Mm. And that is why I'm teaching you. Sometimes I'm going to be hard on you on the wall because I want you to be strong. Do you know why many of you are strong? Physically, it's because of the training and the ordeals that you have went through. That's why you are strong. You'll be stronger. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. The people we persecute, the people that are good. Rejoice and be snake laugh, for great is your reward in heaven. For so particular day, which I prophet before you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is common for men to persecute those that love to live. For God and on earth, because they obey the commandments of God. But the scripture does not hide anything from us at all. If you want to be follower of Jesus Christ, you will face persecution. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. The Bible says, Yea, and all that we live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Mm. However, you should remember that Christ Jesus is the greatest teacher of all teachers. Hallelujah. Greatest prophet Amen. and savior. Amen. Promise you and me in the beatitude that great is our reward in heaven. If we obey Amen. his word. If in any way you are being persecuted right now, you should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. When men begin to revile and persecute you, it is a time for you to begin to rejoice. Say the scripture according to the mouth of Christ Jesus in the beatitude. The ninth one. Either you are being persecuted for any reason or for no reason at all, it doesn't really matter. Be glad Amen. because you are counted to suffer for the name of Jesus Christ. This is exactly what. The prophets and teachers and pastors and apostles of old went through. And how the apostle that preached Christ that is crucified. They went through it. And 
if you are going to the same heaven that they went to, you too must be persecuted. Amen. Lord Christ said, can you drink the can you drink the cup or baptize the baptism? They said they can. The Lord Christ said, yes, yeah, for indeed. You will drink the same cup and you will be baptized with the baptism. He was talking about the persecution and torment of men. Because men is always the same. This is a Sunday. What Christ is expecting of you to be resilient in the pressure of the ungodly when they are persecuting you not to go back. All those people that preach Christ were all persecuted in one way or the other. All persecuted here on earth for speaking the truth and for living the truth. If you are hearing me now, and you are resolute, determined to obey the word of God. I tell you the truth today. You have made a great decision for your dear life. Your reward awaits you in heaven. Don't allow the devil again to cheat you from not obeying the word of God in your life. I just want you to focus on this, on the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. No matter how those the opposition might be. Yet on earth, the blessing that is embedded in obedience of the word of God is greater and, and, more, and more blessed than the persecution or opposition that you are going through. You just need to continue to focus your attention on Jesus Amen. Christ. Hebrews chapter 12, verse Two. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before he endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down, sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus Christ is our model that we are all looking upon for us to live a godly and goodly life here on earth. If you Take your eyes from focusing from Jesus. You will not guide your step with the sack. Just like Peter, look. Do not look at Jesus and you begin to sink. You will not sink in Jesus. Amen. Amen. He is our everything for us. He is the word of God. His word is spirit and his life. And blessed is anyone that obeys his word. Forever and ever, it is said to forever. Oh Lord, your word is said to in heaven. It is said to. I say, son, so he is my everything. He is my all. He is my everything. Oh, great and small. He make me life again. He set me free. He is my all in all. Oh, what about you? Some people may say, some guys may ask, Who is that Jesus? I talk about every day. He is my Savior. He set me free. He is my only Lord. But what about you? It is a decision that you and me need to make. Let us now come to the force of the beatitude. As I go to the vine, a sequence. And the Almighty God will divide it for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 5, 2 and 3. The Bible says, And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they are in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Now, when you hear the word blessed, that was a common way of describing someone that is wealthy, somebody that is prospering. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they are in the kingdom of God. 
Jesus Christ is telling you that you humble yourself from your spirit mind to accept the offer of salvation freely offer unto you. Then you are truly blessed indeed. If you humble yourself. To give your life to Christ, then you are truly blessed indeed. In other words, if you humble yourself and accept Jesus Christ into your life, the Bible says that is a truly blessing for you. Revelation chapter 2. You want to see something here? Verse 8 to 11. The Bible says, And unto the angels of the church in Simna write, this thing say on the first and the last, which was dead and alive. I know that war and tribulation and poverty. This church was a great church. Hallelujah. Amen. They were poor physically. But Jesus Christ said, But thou art rich because they are poor in the spirit. It is those people that are poor in the spirit that will obey the word of God. They are not reliant on their rich spirits, or white spirit, or smart spirit, that suggests to them to describe the word of God. They say, you, you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they were Jews and are not, but they are synagogue of Satan. Even inside of you, corrupt people are there that is suggesting to the one that are good that it is not right or good to obey the word of God. And the Bible says, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devils shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. But thou be faithful unto them, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, when you are a crown egg, who are you? You are a blessed person. The Lord will take you there in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. He that overcometh shall not be harmed of the second death. There are first death, there are second death. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are first death. There are second deaths. The Bible says those people that are poor in spirit humble themselves to obey the word of God. In obeying the word of God, they live according to the commandment of God. When death comes and take them out of this world, their flight is booked to the heavenly. Where they will have a crown of life. And they will never be hurt by the second death. And Jesus Christ said that is why you have to be afraid about somebody that can kill mm. your body mm. and send you, your soul to hell fire. Mm. By God's grace, you will not be hung by the second death. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. However, you need to humble yourself to obey the gospel. Today because tomorrow might be today. Tomorrow never guaranteed to anybody. You need to surrender your life to Christ and obey the word of God. Never to go back to your sin. This will not be difficult for you when you are poor in spirit. It will be easy for you. It will be easy for you to surrender your life unto Christ when you are poor in spirit. James chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, but he giveth more grace. He giveth more grace. We have all is yet God resisted the proud, but he gave grace unto the humble. In other words, there is a performer. I told you about grace. Me, last week that whenever you want to do something and you can do it, it's a grace that makes you to do it. Amen. Now the Bible says you humble yourself, meaning that you are poor in the spirit. Hallelujah. Mind you do not go contrary to the subjection and to the commandment of God by your own subjection of your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. That want to discredit the word of God. The Bible says God give you grace to be able to perform. It is only the one that is poor in the spirit that will humble himself to apologize when he knows that he is not at fault. But for the sake of peace, he is ready to do anything for peace to reign. That is somebody that is that is poor in spirit. 
Same day. Are you counting it? It is only the poor in spirit that we know that someone is taking advantage of him or her and still want peace to reign. You want peace to reign? Because he's poor in spirit. And God loves them. It is only the poor in spirit that we walk uprightly when we see others maneuvering their way to achieve their goals. Somebody in the spirit do not follow multitude to do evil. But he will not budge by the prosperity of wicked people. Because he is poor in spirit. She is poor in the spirit. And he will choose to obey and wait for God's direction in every situation or circumstances. Those are the people that are poor in the spirit. And that Bible says they are in the kingdom of heaven. Sometimes people around them call them fools. I'm going to be your day in your language. I'm going to be your day. Hallelujah. That is. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, they care, you see opportunity, but you not take advantage of, of it. The truth of the matter is that the poor in the spirit think differently. They are, they are wired differently. That is the difference. And to them, what you call opportunity is wickedness before them. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For someone who are so rich in the spirit, we think stealing your company pure water and selling it before your boss comes to work is smartness. Yeah, that's what they say. And they begin to steal. They can't put somebody that has so rich in the spirit to manage something. It's going to bankrupt it. Because they are so rich, they believe that all the richness of their boss come to them. And some of them, they will not even give them times. Within a year, they are bankrupt. You know, that is what is happening in some of this third world. Yes. And if you have them, they believe that they are smart. That is what they call it. They say, well, they are smart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> the Lord Almighty will give you a poor spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But those that are poor in spirit know it is wickedness before God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you put them in a company, when they are doing weather, they will be stealing their company gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Tell about for me, see that in Thai so, one my gate so co. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Hello. Ah. I didn't know what you're saying. Ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Could you imagine somebody that make they make a pure water factory for go and manage it? Mm. It's not they want they want to assist him all because they are looking for work. Hello. Right. Go and manage it. When the company is good, not what you know. If the company is good. Is it for the owner of the company? No. Hello? No. Eh? No. It's for your own good. But because they believe that they are so smart that somebody that own it, they want all the all the all the gains because they are they don't know that they are the one that are most full. And that is why a lot of people cannot get jobs. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they don't have the 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 the, the character mm. to hold a job. Because in a month, Hallelujah, Amen. their boss will say this one is not reliable. And when you are not reliable, your boss will not commit a greater task unto you. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Now, in order for you to be a successful worker here in America. Hello? Uh -huh. Let me tell you, apart from the camera, because they are looking at you. If you, you that are standing one dollar, 
you are selling, maybe you are selling in a store. Hallelujah. And when you when you sell one dollar, you put that one for your gapos. When you sell another one, you put that one in your pocket. And some of you think that the one that you see is the camera that they that they, they put in the camera that you didn't see. That 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 center of where you are taking the money. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. They see your hand doing like this. They, they are looking for another person to hire. Mm. When they get another one to hire, they say, I beg, go. Mm. Because you are a thief. Mm. You are a thief only. <laughs> only. <laughs> only. 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 And you think you are smart mm. by stealing. You are, you are weak. You are wicked, for God's sake. That's right. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Oh, yes. No, that, that is what I tell you. With your hand, mm. pray that God will bless your hand. Amen. Bless your hand and the work of your hand. And you will be able to give. Amen. You don't need anybody money. I don't know how to preach this one unto you. And I know that many of us, we have graduated from that. Hallelujah. Amen. You just need to take this. Anybody that steals somebody that doesn't belong to him is a great fool. And that is why a lot of people, hallelujah, Amen. carry curses. Hallelujah. Amen. You know my mother, in the Christmas, she said, somebody come and steal a, a six chicken. <laughs> on a day, mama. Mefa. Hallelujah. Mama was like, ah, I want to add my very part of the very jelly. Hallelujah. Tell me you want to cook money. I want to very general But they are thieves because they don't they don't put their own so you pay a white tea. you think pay you for my mama with this one dear too. Hallelujah. A thief will be thief. I told you about somebody that I hired years back. And very hardworking. Oh my God, that boy can. Oh my God, I love the guy out of the crew. Very hardworking. And after they finish work, Hallelujah. Amen. They are trying to wash all the brush and everything, the tools, and put it back. It's what I'm doing the house in Georgia Avenue. And then after a washing, it look here. You know, in the dark. And when it's dark, people that is in the house. There will be seen people that is in the, in the light. So they ask that. So I was seeing it. We didn't see. So it looked like this. It looked like this. It looked like God wants to show the kind of person he is. And then it was two dollar bros. Two dollar bros that I got in Oakville that day. And then he hid. He hid it under his uh, so, so, so. socks. Two dollar bros. And and the guy I was paying the guy ten dollar an hour. And he worked like ten ten hour. That was like hundred dollar. So what is two dollar? I said. Somebody that is a thief will always be a thief. Mm -hmm. And after I paid them off, I said, you don't come tomorrow. He said, what? He said, because it's a thief. The friend, you know, this friend, their friend, they say, ah! Mm -hmm. They speak their language. They say, oh, do wait, they mm -hmm. <laughs> And then they shake their self for him. Come and see. I said, yeah, bring my, bring my brush. Ah. And then I said, it's in your brush. And then I took it. I said, $2 brush, $2. Wow. That is how the law exposes mm -hmm. those people that they think that they are smart. But they don't know that they are not smart. Hallelujah. Amen. But know that one in spirit, know that it is wickedness. Now, corruption is a is a is not smartness. It is called folly for those that are poor in the spirit. Those that are rich in the spirit will think that, hallelujah, Amen. Mrs. Potiphar is the best thing that can happen to a man. But before Joseph, it is, it is, how can I do this great witness and sin against God? That is the difference between those that are rich in the spirit and those that are poor in the spirit. By their fruit, you will know them. What a great asset a man or woman that, that is poor in the spirit will be in her husband's house, or when you marry a wife or a husband that are in the spirit, if you have them as your daddy or mommy, you have a great asset. 
If you have them as your children or friend, you have a great asset. If you have them as your boss, you have, if you have them as your pastor, you have a great asset. If you have them as your neighbor or co-worker, you have great asset. It is only the one that is poor in the spirit will walk righteously and speak the truth in his heart without no any eyes. You have no reason to doubt him or her because they will say as it is without any reservation because the spirit is poor and they will not allow themselves to lie. Amen. It is only the one that is poor in the spirit that will not barbite. Amen. Their tongue is reserved for only to speak the truth, Amen. nothing but the truth. Those that are born in the spirit will never do anything evil. They will never do anyone evil. Amen. All the days of their life, their neighbor is in good hand because they will never do that harm. Now, hallelujah. Amen. Look at me. If you are in America, God is blessing you, you will invest in Nigeria, right? Amen. I've had many things. Hallelujah. Amen. That's if you don't have people that are poor in the spirit in your family, they can harm you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello? Uh, because houses and monies that is your your left your left behind that you are investing there, to them is a big thing. Mm. And what they do, I had recently when my was in, when my, me and my wife went last time, that we had about somebody and they were his uh, they were his uh, assembly, you know. Hallelujah. They bring food for them in the hotel and poison that food. Both husbands eat that food and they die. Because he just built house. Now, that house, hallelujah, is going to decay one day. But you can never have your brother. Now, if they are not a fool, do you think that somebody that lives in America will come to Nigeria and come and leave? That is how dumb they are. And somebody that only built one, one, house and make you an overseer of that house. They can build 20 of it if you are faithful. Am I talking to somebody? That's right. So why are you think that you can ask smart? Because you think that you are smart. You don't know that you are the greatest fool here on earth. And you can't have your brother anymore. You can't see his wife anymore. Hallelujah. You know when I came to this country, I have uh you know somebody you know, it was very good uh, friend, uh, somehow far relative. Hallelujah. Amen. That he told me that he's in a computer business. That he told me to buy uh, memory. And I used $5,000 to buy memory. And I took it to Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. And he took, and he took that uh, memory. We came to, I said, let's sell in the, uh, what do you call it? Computer village. Uh, when he said, no, the money, the way they are pricing it is too, it's too small that we take it to Kano. Mm. He said, in Kano, they will repair him more. Mm. And I said, okay, take. So I gave to him, he took it, hallelujah. Amen. And after a couple of days, I told my wife, I said, mm, I don't think this man is going to be faithful because I should have said this thing in a computer village. It's like I was in vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. And I told my wife, I said, I call him, say, they ask me to wait. Mm. Where I, I'm going, you know that, you know in Nigeria, they, what they do, they are playing the, the late tactics. They know that when your time, when your flight comes, you have to go. Have to go. I said, my wife, when they tell me, they, they, they ask me to, to wait to collect the money. I said, okay. I told my wife, I said, this guy, hallelujah. He said, no, oh, let's go to his shop. And then, through, went, hallelujah. Amen. It was in, in his Oshobo, in his shop, in Oshobo. Ah, Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. And when we get there, it started shifting. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, this. And, uh, so, how much you have there? <laughs> and we had the rest of the thing. Is there, uh, they took it, uh, they took him 7,000. I said, bring the 7,000. That was like $700. So, the, I think I, I saw two computers in the shop. I took that computer and that's it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And that's it. Hallelujah. Amen. And when I came back home, the my my in-law told me that this guy eh, mm. is a great fool. Mm. He said, what if you say, I can walk back. 
Hallelujah. So that make me to lose any interest in investing to Nigeria. Now, you that are selling cars, you all of you that are selling cars, you can relate with me. That when you send your card there, they begin. If you don't have somebody that you trust, you will not make any money. That is why I tell you that invest your money here and let your money work for you. But if you have people that are poor in the spirit, that can be faithful unto you, here you go. It's good to diversify. Corruption is a reproach. And it's one that makes you to be poorer. Mm -hmm. yeah. People that are faithful, that are poor in the spirit, they are the wiser. They may not have feet like you think that they have it once. Mm -hmm. But steadily and gradually they will get there. Yes, right. You will get there in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is only the poor in the spirit we walk righteously and speak the truth in his heart at all times. Hallelujah. Amen. It is only the poor in the spirit Amen. that will not bite. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The poor in the spirit normally look down on the morally bad and wicked people. Amen. They look down on them. Whatever they achieve is nothing before them. But they always honor those people that fear God. The poor in the spirit bring their promises and their promise to pass. They make their word to be good. Even when it costly to them, Amen. they will make their word be good, to be good. The poor in the spirit does not use and dump. They don't take the word against the innocent. No wonder the scripture said, those people that have those qualities, they will never be moved. You shall never be moved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Psalm 15, 1 to 5. You go home, you read that, you see there. Jesus Christ is, the, is teaching us in the beatitude and saying that the kingdom of heaven is made for those that are poor in the spirit. Those that are ready to humble themselves and surrender everything that stand on their way to the heavenly. They will always yield thee unto God's commandment in everything. That is how you know if you are poor in the spirit or you are rich in the spirit. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. Blessed are the poor in the spirit for they are in the kingdom of heaven. If there is anything that is too much for you to surrender to take the gospel for the sake of the gospel, that is the thing that will hinder you from reign with Christ. The good thing you can do for yourself today is to ask for the spirit to be poor. The grace to be poor in the spirit. That ever ready to obey the commandment of God at all times. If you surrender everything unto Jesus Christ, Christ will be glorified in your life. But if you refuse, you may never be happy. Because trust and obey, there is no any other way to be happy in the Lord but to trust and obey. In Luke chapter 8, in Luke chapter 8, verse 22 to 25, the Bible said, Now when Jesus heard this thing, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou art, and distribute it unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. And when he had these, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus Christ saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How happy they shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. What is that riches that you have? It might be your brain, it might be your beauty, it might be your connection, it might be, you know, uh, the carcass of the people that you are, that you think that they are meant to everything apart, and know that you cannot part with, for to obey Christ Jesus. The secret of your true riches, according to the Jesus Christ, is obedient to the word of God, because God knows what you don't know. That is why he is God. 
if you are poor enough in the spirit, you should know that it is for your own sake that commandment at the first time, first reading. Because God don't need it. That thing that is inside the word of God that is required of you is for your own. It was the rich man that asked Jesus Christ, what shall I do to enter into the kingdom of God? And Jesus Christ was telling him the answer. But it wasn't like the answer. It was looking for the answer that he wants Christ to tell him. Hallelujah. Amen. Perhaps he think that he can use his money, because that is his power, to buy the kingdom of God from Jesus Christ. Because he has a lot of that. And a lot of people like that. Hallelujah. Amen. They want to use their money to possess the kingdom of God. Perhaps the gift of God. No, you can't. Somebody said hallelujah. 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 What God hallelujah. wants you to do is to humble and surrender yourself unto God. Wow, the rich man was not expecting that Jesus Christ responded the way he does unto him. Perhaps the rich man is was thinking that he could use the money to buy the kingdom of God from the hand of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But no, but no, Jesus Christ is very clear. The Bible says the man became sorrowful. He actually he went back sorrowful than he came. <laughs> because of his riches. Do not trust your own riches. Trust God. Amen. Jesus Christ, therefore, advised those that are ready to follow him to lay up their treasure. And therefore, that is the difference. The difference between people that are poor in the spirit, they have different mentality. They are in heaven, it is good. It is a good bank to lay your treasure. Because in earth, there is a lot of corruption there. Matthew chapter 6. Fascinating to 21. Lay not your self treasure upon the earth. We have moot and rust don't corrupt. And we have thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven. We have neither not nor rust do corrupt. And we are thieves do not break through and steal. For we are your treasure in there with your house also be. And I said this last week. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the moment you begin to invest into the kingdom of God, you will have the seal to serve God. Did I make that one clear? Yes. This upright was teaching us. And everything that you have done in for the church, you are you don't see it. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you. Whatever that you give up, it is your home that is reserved for you. Amen. Whatever you are using from here on earth. Hallelujah. That. You are spending it. Whatever you do for Christ, you are saving it. Hallelujah. Amen. The uniqueness of this teaching of beatitude is that the it is clearly revealed when God is involved. There must be a blessing that abound in somebody's life. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Say the scripture, for there is the kingdom of heaven. That means that you will be wealthy both here on earth and in heaven because God is by your side to bring grace or performance into your life. When you are ready to humble yourself and surrender yourself unto the word of his grace, you are more blessed. Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart and save souls and of a contrary spirit. When God is involved, Everything becomes possible. Look, the same way we read. There is a question that the people that saw the rich man that went back sorrowful, that they asked from verse 26 and 27. The Bible says, And they that had it said, Who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? And Jesus Christ answered. And he said, This thing. Which are impossible with men are possible with God. What are that telling you? You allow yourself to be obey, obedient to the word of God, think that you cannot think that you can do. You'll be able to do it because there is a grace of performance to be able to do it. The difference between the people that think that it's not possible is because there is no grace for them to do it. But in obedience to the word of God, the work 
come alive and spirit in you and you'll be able to do it. Today you receive that grace. Amen. Amen. Your obedience to the word of God will allow God to move in your favor for you. Even more than what you can think you can do for yourself. Because all things are possible for those that surrender their lives to Christ. Somebody that hallelujah. Amen. That was a time. Let me help you with this. And then we will continue. Hallelujah. There was a time that I saw money on where I was working in my factory, in a, in a company that I was working. And I did not pick up the money. I didn't take the money. Hallelujah. Amen. And when I came, I tell some of my uh, uh, people that I saw money. I said, like, ah, they didn't need any. Hmm. You're supposed to pick up the money. I, said, I don't know who have the money. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will have it. Since I was young, my mother already told me, do not pick any money that does not belong to you. Even when I was learning trade in Lagos, when you see money, you know, I lend the money. Hallelujah. I do not pick the money. Either it's a dollar or it's a naira. I do not pick the money. Why? Because they told us, you can pick up the money and you can become a dog. <laughs> Hallelujah. So why would I pick up money that they use as a what? As a thing, and some, some, some the, the money people, after they have used that money to wash their, mm -hmm. hallelujah, a lot of trouble right now that a lot of people is going through is because of their confidence. They are picking what they're not supposed to pick, and then cause stick into their life. You need to pray your way through and pray your way out. Hallelujah. Amen. So. When God asks you to surrender your life to Christ now, so when now in the same company, the same, uh, the same, uh, the same uh, department was when I did everything I could to make a machine work and the machine could not work, and I had to resolve to prayer, and I said, "You this machine in the name of Jesus work," and I start the machine. The machine work. Me too. That I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. I did not believe that that prayer can answer like that. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah, the one that can make everything possible. Hallelujah. Amen. Make it work. And when the man says, boo, 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 I ran. Hallelujah. And when my boss hear it, who do? Machine work. He gave me 5,000 naira. Who brought that 5,000 naira? Jesus. Let's stand up on our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was God by me exercising my faith in his word. Pray. And things will come to pass. For if you give your life to the word of God, salvation and freedom from sin can come to you. And I want you to exercise that faith right now. Hallelujah. Amen. I will continue next. I want you to exercise that faith right now. Let us close all our eyes. And you pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Any area, any area that I've lacked, that have lacked your understanding. Any area that I'm so wise of myself. Any area that I've not been poor in the spirit enough to obey you. Forgive me. Open your mouth and tell me. Lord, I in the book of life. In the book of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, let my name in the book of life. Let my name in the book of life. Tell it to the Lord. The Lord will have mercy on you and will like that. Your name is the book of life. In the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we are praying. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. 
Wash me, wash me with your blood. I will pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah, thank you for that. Wash me with your blood. I will have to wash you with your blood in the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. In the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. In the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. In the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. In the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I never have to do that. In the name of that want to draw me back, I want to draw me to Babylon. To Babylon. Open your mouth at that time. Yes, that is what I want to do. 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 Yes,